Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Yes, class. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. In this flow and error control, uh, we are talking about uh, connection-oriented services. I hope you all know about what is connection-oriented and connection-less services. Uh, in connection-oriented service, if I repeat, uh, there will be uh, frames that will come or that will arrive in a sequence. And for that sequence, we will acknowledge so, uh, the packet back to the sender. Where is connectionless, uh, the packets are allowed to move in any direction. It will reach to the uh, receiver. Now, please remember that uh, here flow control is needed in two different uh, layers. First layer, that is data link layer, where we need to maintain flow, and whereas also in transport layer. So, what is the difference? Yes, uh, that we will study in the next slide when we will talk about transport layer. Then I will tell you in our OSI model we are performing flow control in two different layers. First, we are uh, we are we also we are performing in data link layer and we are also performing in transport layer. So if I give you a small a brief of that thing, then in data link layer uh, we are performing flow control between one host to the immediate connected host, one host to immediately connected node. Like for example, if I take uh, that. Uh, in our system, there are 10 to nodes and in between we are having a switches and router. So first node is connected with first switch. So there is a need of flow control. So data link layer is basically talking about uh, host to host which are immediately connected with each other. Getting? Yes, any doubt for this statement? So this thing we have done uh, in the previous class where we are talking about that while true and waiting for the event where we need to send the frames uh, which we are getting from the packets and we are getting data from that uh, network layer right so and then we are converting that data uh, into frames and we need to make some kind uh, some kind of headers and tails which will distinguish between uh, that one frame second frame and third frame right and then we will simply sending the frame this was uh, this was we have done uh, in the previous lecture right and similarly on the receiving side when it will receive there will be a arriving notification we will receive the frame we will extract the data and then we will deliver data to the network layer right? so here flow is flow control uh, is done between one host and the other host which are immediately connected with each other now this is an idle communication idle channel so we are not worried about how to uh, taken care for error control or flow control simply they are sending and it is arriving on the receiving end right so the next one in that the first one we have studied that is simplex and the second one in our slavers that is stop and wait and again i am telling you we are talking about uh, the ideal channel right so here we are not saying that there, there is a need of error control and flow control but which we are designing we are designing for for idle channel right so here you can see the same scenario as you have seen in the simplex method and uh, you can find that number of events now increased in the previous case the events are this one you can see there are only requests from the network layer and then it will send the frames right but here you can see the number of events are now now increased right what we are doing we are we are getting data that process will remain same as we are doing in the simplex method also that getting data preparing frames and then sending frames but here one more thing is added and that's why it is called wait stop and wait why we are saying it stop and wait that send the first frame and then wait for the acknowledgement of that frame that's it this is what this protocol is talking about that send the one frame and then we have to wait for the acknowledgement for the confirmation that that frame which the sender has sent has received by the receiver and receiver has successfully acknowledged that frame by sending an acknowledged frame back to the sender getting yes class any doubt if you have any doubt you can ask me right now only otherwise in future there will be uh, confusions yes class yes sir See, again I am telling, in the last class we talked about simplex, now we are talking about stop and wait. If, if we talk about the difference between simplex 
and stop and wait in simplex we are not sending acknowledgement whereas in stop and wait it clearly gives that uh, message to us that we have to stop after sending the frame and we have to wait for acknowledgement that's why it is called stop and wait right so if we talk about the design of stop and wait protocol where we are saying this mechanism is same as we are talking in simplex method only difference is that we are sending single frame in the previous case you can said see that we are sending continuously and there is no acknowledgement from the receiving side right but here we have we have inserted one more event which is known as acknowledgement frame positive acknowledgement right so positive acknowledgement which delivers within the time limit right now what is the limitation can anyone tell me what is the problem with this this protocol stop and wait protocol it is working fine one frame is sent received by the receiver then after confirmation no error found then it will send back an acknowledgement frame so simply we have a flow control over here right now please anyone can tell me that what will be the uh, problem with this protocol now anyone what is the major difference you have find from the previous one deepak you there yes sir yes tell me i am asking you something one of the major deficiency you can find in this protocol sir the time it will take is more it will send a acknowledgement it at every data frame that send the sender then the time it will take yes. more mm -hmm. okay anyone else i just want to tell you that if we only send one frame at a time and then wait for infinite time for an acknowledgement then where the efficiency of this protocol will goes there will be very low efficiency we are sending one frame and then we are sitting quiet for long and waiting for infinite time there is no clock over here we need to have some timer over here if acknowledgement frame is not received then there need to be some mechanism of retransmission right so then it is this protocol is very inefficient we need to improve this protocol we need there is a need to improve the protocol suppose uh, one protocol was sent at time t1 and after time uh, something around 2 days 3 days 4 days it is still waiting for the acknowledgement so where is the efficiency of this protocol so it is very Uh, less efficient right so still uh, but we have uh, one important point over here is that in this we introduce the concept of uh, acknowledgement where we are saying reliable connection so here one frame is sent and now we are able to know that that frame is successfully received by the receiver by this positive acknowledgement feedback this is called acknowledgement frame that is a feedback from the receiver so reliability is introduced over here in this manner right and uh, how uh, things are controlled things are controlled in the sense that if this frame is not received by uh, to the sender then sender will wait for long right so moving further uh, in this way uh, that we have uh, again i am telling you the, the code which we are discussing the previous simplex method same way we are having code for that now th these things is already there in the simplex method also there right so one thing we have added that send frame after sending frame we cannot send and that is false why we cannot send because we are waiting for the acknowledgement to arrive we cannot send one frame is sent and then we cannot send the next frame which is waiting right so what we are doing we are putting it on hold over here from the sender side and how we are putting on hold like this way you can say can send is equal to false means sender now cannot send until acknowledgement that is feedback will arrive to the sender so if the feedback is not arrived to the sender next frame will not be sent this is the point over here right then again the notification is there arrival notification as we need in receiving side similarly positive feedback we are getting from the 
receiver. Now that receiver will send a acknowledgement. That acknowledgement will arrive at the sender. Now sender has to wait for arrival notification again. So if arrival notification received frame, then can send true means can send the next frame. Now this is the all new logic that is added in the simplex protocol that we are talking about in the previous class. We have added this control mechanism that one frame will be sent and then we are waiting for the acknowledgement and if the arrival notification is there then we can send the next frame simply the rest of the code is same as we have discussed in the previous class right and on the receiving send uh, receiving side we are having arrival notification all the time where we are receiving the frame we are extracting the data and we are delivering the data to the network layer and then after this successful uh, transition what we will send we will send the frame so this particular function is added in the simplex method for the design of stop and wait protocol which is not there in the, in, in the previous lecture we are talking about these three lines first thing receive frame extract data then deliver data receiver is doing only these three events this event is added now that is sending the positive feedback to the sender any doubt students yes class introduce yourself Imanish, you are there yes sir yes the algorithm is same that we are talking about in the simplex method again i am telling you what it says that uh, you all know that these three layers we are talking about that is network layer data link and physical layer data we are getting from the network layer and after getting the data from the network layer what we are doing we are extracting that data and we are making frame in the in the data link layer that's why it is saying it is always true to send true and then waiting for the event if event request to send and cannot send right so first thing that we is we are getting data we are taking data from the network layer then we are making frames then we are sending that frame and now how we are controlling that sender will not send the next frame simply by putting this statement which can send is equal to false and it will remain false till we will not receive received frame of acknowledgement or positive feedback right till, till then that next frame will not be sent by the sender right and on the receiving side receiver will always waiting for the event that is arrival notification if there is a arrival notification it will receive the frame and extract the data from that frame now that data which is extracted by the receiver from in this point what will happen it will it will deliver that data to the upper layer because each and every layer is serving the upper layer n plus one and the lower layer n minus one right please remember this point so it is delivering the data to the upper layer here it is serving to this data link layer is serving to network layer so that data is sent here data is get, we get the data and here data is received then we are sending the data to the transport layer right so this is what it's talking about and then if it is successful there is no error or you can say then it is sending here it is sending a frame back that is a positive feedback and that positive feedback will be received by the received by the sender this one so this is the only thing that we have added now and if we talk about the difference between simplex protocol that we have you can see there is a continuation of data frames there is no acknowledgement feedback positive feedback from the receiver right it is a simplex method nothing we have to do we are taking data and we are sending with the frames the receiver is receiving in stop and wait why it is called stop and wait it will send one frame and then it will stop and wait for acknowledgement now this is the difference right anyone have any doubt you can ask we are moving to the next protocol I am just giving you a flow diagram this is the flow diagram for stop and wait where you can see the sender and receiver it is requesting for a frame frame it has arrived in the receiving side receiver will send back the acknowledgement acknowledgement will arrive in the sender side 
again next frame requested right it will arrive in the receiver and then it will acknowledge the arrival right so you can see how many events are there one two three four for two frames we have four events for the senders side right yes yes any doubt please note it down so what is the problem and the problem will be due to lost data ashley so abhi aapko stop and wait clear ho gaya yes sir okay so just read this line okay. is it visible to you yes sir hmm. problems hmm. due to lost data sender waits for acknowledgement hmm. for an infinite amount of time hmm. and receiver yes. waits for data an infinite amount of time hmm. and the second is Now, problems due to lost acknowledgement yes what it is sender waits sender for waits for right amount of for time an infinite amount of time for acknowledgement for for acknowledgement yes acknowledgement. so what is happening just take this scenario you can see this diagram we having a sender and we having a receiver so what is the limitation of this protocol i am talking about so if the sender is sending a data and which is received by receiver and receiver now generated arrival notification and want to send the positive feedback to the sender now in between in the communication channel if this acknowledgement packet or if is this acknowledgement frame get lost then sender is waiting for infinite amount of time since sender is thinking that i have sent the data but i have not received the acknowledgement so i cannot able to send the next frame so there will be a infinite amount of wait if acknowledgement is not arrived to the sender yes and same thing is happening with the receiver also how if if the if the frame has been sent by the sender and that data frame is lost over here suppose over here only the data frame has lost yes class so what will happen receiver is waiting for infinite amount of time if data is lost over here now receiver is waiting for infinite amount of time again that is why it is saying these two statements and these are the limitation due to loss of data that's why it is called data a data means frame and second one acknowledgement both so if acknowledgement is lost so the sender is waiting and if data is lost then receiver is waiting for infinite amount of time so what can anyone tell me the solution for this what is needed yes class argun jatin kanika where you are people muskan nitika priya सारे एब्सेंट करने आज मेरे को ऑल आर स्लीपिंग है यस क्लास टॉक ऑन आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्स सर अगर ऐसा कुछ होगी सेंडर को वेट सेंडर को डाटा भेजने से पहले एक्नोलेजमेंट की मतलब जो वो वेट ना करना पड़े वो वो पार्ट अलग हो जो एक्नोलेज वो मेंट को देखता है और जो सेंड करता है सेंडर का वो पार्ट अलग हो वो अपना सेंड करता रहे और उसको इतना को मतलब उससे कोई रिलेशन ना हो कि उसे डाटा सेंड कब करना है और एक्नोलेजमेंट से तो सर फिर शायद थोड़ा हो सकता है मतलब इन द बिगनिंग आई टोल्ड यू Uh, we are talking about whenever we are talking about uh, the stop and wait protocols we are basically taking consideration of uh, we are talking about connection oriented service connection oriented service means the frames will come will uh, will have sequence number and they have to arrive in a sequence right for connection less you are talking about that uh, that you are taking an example of connection less uh, that like datagram protocols which does not require a sequence they can arrive at any time with any different path and then that data is reassembled in the receiving side that is the case of connection less services 
we are talking about connection oriented services so there need to be a uh, sequence between sender and receiver and in that sequence they are receiving it so what we have to do we have to provide sequence number so if every frame have some number one two three four and in the same sequence they are getting acknowledgement that frame one received frame two received frame three received getting now my, my, my question to you is that if this protocol is designed and and we have seen that there is no uh, there is no control in the time you can see they are waiting for infinite amount of time sender is sending data if data is lost in between receiver is waiting for infinite amount of time for that data receiver is not knowing right similarly if receiver is sending acknowledgement positive feedback and if that positive feedback is lost in between then sender is waiting for infinite amount of time so this time constant this time constraints how we can solve this problem this is my query is problem ko kaise solve ki jaye you get my point kanika yes sir yes ab is particular problem ko kaise solve kiya jaye aap bhi engineers hain so uh, you are here to solve the problems kisi ne bhi jo engineer hai usne bhi iske bare mein socha hoga so they are just like you people but they have some they have thought it in the proper way now you just take this example like you are waiting for your friend and you are wait your friend is not coming to you so will you wait uh, uh, wait for him in a railway station till uh, till months till years you getting me kanika suppose yes, sir. you are waiting for your friend in a railway station and your friend did not arrived on time right so what do you do you wait for another couple of time you wait for some more time and then what you will do you proceed further you do some other task ha huh? na yes tell tell please this need a discussion please class come up sir ऐसे हो जाएगा कि पर्टिकुलर टाइम के लिए आपको अलाउड होगा कि इतने टाइम आपको वेट करना है अगर वो नहीं आएगा तो आप आगे बढ़ो यस यस दैट इज द पॉइंट ओवर हियर सो देयर इज ए नीड ऑफ टाइमर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोटोकॉल डिजाइन देयर इज ए लैक ऑफ टाइमर सो वट वील नीड टू डू वी नीड टू एड ए टाइमर ओवर हेयर सो दैट्स वाई द नेक्स्ट प्रोटोकॉल दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट इज जिसमें हम बात करेंगे particularly that there will be a you can see over here what we have added we have added timer right now in this protocol i will talk in the next class because we are left with only 2 3 minutes before that you have any doubt you can ask me uh, sir can i ask you something sir are here is all please yes please sir please, uh, uh, you have said the so rahul prit singh rahul prit singh yes sir here is a, I, my doubt that that sir please uh, sir please sir kaise kar sakte hain jaise hum unloads kaise where to stop wait with uh, stop and wait sir protocol kaise kar sakte hain mm. thoda sa read kar do ye kaise um, i am not get your question please repeat your question sir i am saying that um, um, yes sir we have a sender right you want yes, to uh, or oh, you want me to explain again we have a receiver yes, mm -hmm. right so sender has some data to send always you know that yes sir yes sir yes, sir. yes? so sender will send that data that is in the form of frame and receiver will receive it now you yes, you see why i have not taken it like this way parallel line i have taken like this this line is bended over here because it takes some transmission time so when when it was sent at not at the same time it will received it will take some it, it will take some time so this is some time it is taken so that's why it is it is like this way okay right. sir now Neither this now first frame is this first frame which is received over here right by the receiver yes sir now receiver will send acknowledgement for it okay sir right sir uh, now said that this that, particular uh, completion of this two things in the sending side that is sending of frame and receiving of acknowledgement 
these two events on the receiving side will confirm the successful delivery of packet yes sir. if these two event does not occur in the sender side then the successful delivery of packet is not there getting okay sir yes sir now, now get right it. yes yes sir. okay great thank you sir yes anyone else anyone else please ask the flow control diagram sir which flow control diagram you want which flow control diagram you want so do so Let's Let's begin begin yes. Yes. We have some data request for frame, which is arrived. After certain time, it will reach to the receiver. and receiver acknowledge it so this complete thing basically talk about successful communication that is arrival of positive acknowledgement after ar arriving this thing then only the next frame is sent it will be received arrived on the receiving side receiver will send the positive acknowledgement and again this combination these two events confirm 